Aloha and welcome to our video on the Earth's moon. In this video, we'll describe how the physical features of the lunar surface were created. We'll also explain the history of the moon. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the moon. Remember that Aristotle felt that it was a perfect sphere and unblemished, but Galileo with his telescope was able to see that there were features on the moon. So let's look at a couple of these features as we go through. Some of the first ones that you'll notice is you'll see this word mar here, okay? And that's basically like a sea. So what it is is the large flat area, and we have the Sea of Tranquility or Mar Tranquillatus, and right over here is where we landed with Apollo. Um, we also have Oceanus, which are going to be these larger, darker areas, and that's believed to have been like magma and lava that reached the surface and kind of smoothed it out as the moon was still forming. We also notice that there's a whole bunch of craters, and a lot of these craters are going to be named after astronomers. So we can see that we have Copernicus over here, and we have Kepler over here, and we can look for some other ones. We have Ptolemy over here. So they named a lot of these craters after scientists and astronomers and things of that nature. So when we look at the moon, there are features that we can look at, but how did these features come to be? Well, that's what we're going to discuss in the next slide here. Okay, so let's start off with the formation of a crater. The first thing that's going to happen is we're going to have this meteoroid impact that's going to come down and it's going to hit the surface of the moon. When that happens, it's going to create a little hole, but it's also going to send out this wave of compression where everything gets kind of squished together because we made this hole happen. That's going to we see here, it's going to send out this energy, and then that energy is going to come back as a rebound. And when it does so, it's these two forces here that kind of form the walls of the crater. We also can see way down here that we have this ejecta material that's going to be thrown out. So the newer craters are going to have a little more pronounced ejecta, and we call those the rays on the craters. And we'll see that here in the next slide. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the topographic features of the moon. Now, on the moon, we talked about craters already. We can have large craters and small craters. Some of the older craters are going to be lava flooded because we had some volcanic activity while the moon was forming. These younger craters, the youthful ones, we talked about these rays of ejecta being seen. Now, we have hirons on the moon because when it was forming, there were parts that were kind of crushed upwards and we made some mountains. We also have some trenches and we call those rills, and the rills were once thought to be canals. So that's why they thought there might be people on the moon or aliens on the moon because we had these canals and that would be a way that they could travel. We also talked briefly about these Mars, and the Mars are going to be like your seas, a flat region, so kind of like a plain. It's just going to be a big, broad, flat area there. And then also we talk a little bit about lunar regolith, which is going to be kind of like the smaller rocks, the dust, the clays, and things like that that we can see on the moon as well. So how did the moon form? Well, we believe early in Earth's history, Earth was impacted by something, be it a meteor, be it an asteroid, something large that impacted the Earth. And when it did so, we can see the impact here. It created this dust ring, so to speak, around the planet. We could see that here. And that's kind of like how we formed, how the Earth formed in the solar system. So there was this area of dust, and as the particles collided and grew together, the gravity of those increased, and they attracted other ones, and it basically cleared the field, and that's how we formed our moon here. So the moon formed much the same way the Earth did. However, the moon's a lot smaller, so it was able to cool completely. So unlike the Earth, which is still going through plate tectonics and things of that nature, we don't see that in the moon because the center of the moon, the core of the moon, is kind of cooled down to the point where we don't have plates and we don't have that convective currents going on that would cause the moon to shift. So our moon probably came from a collision and it's just the remnants that were blown into space that coagulated together and formed the moon. Okay, as always, good luck on your quiz and we'll see you in the next video.